Hi everyone, this video is going to very quickly talk about colour settings in InDesign because you may have noticed that when you pull in RGB images into InDesign sometimes there is a massive colour disparity between what you have brought in and what you're hoping to see in print. I've opened up a file um, uh, that is in RGB um, on Photoshop and you can see the brightness and richness of these RGB colours. There are a great range of colours available to you in RGB and it gives you this very sort of like hyper bright backlit sort of range of colours that you can work with. Of course these look a little duller if we proof set them and go into CMYK. So if I proof my colours you'll see that those dull right down um, even with my colour setting set in uh, Photoshop to Fogra 39, uh, you can set colour settings if you go to edit and you can go to colour settings down here and you can see that I've said look, use this one because it's best for the printers that I work with on a day to day basis if you're ever not sure talk to your print technician but that is basically showing me that that is what it's going to look like out of most printers, it's going to dull right down and you may need to put some adjustments in place um, using the adjustments panel window and adjustments to try and bring that back to super bright but most printers do have fairly good ICC profiles that translate RGB colour to CMYK quite nicely these days uh, and if you want colour replication uh, you should be able to get it from decent printers but having said that if I command Y and pull this super bright image in to InDesign now, so I've just got to find that on my desktop. I'm going to pull that in, and you can see it bright as I, uh, I've got it wiggling on my cursor there. But if I drop it in, and I'm just going to hold down Command and Shift and resize this, you'll see that it is dulled right back. Now, there have been problems in previous versions of InDesign 19, 2019, um, and actually slightly in 2020, that in GPU preview you don't quite see what you imagine you should. Under view you can see I've got this set to GPU preview at the moment, there's like a shift E there to switch between uh, preview on CPU and GPU preview. Um, I'm not seeing much colour jump here I must admit but there is a little colour shift there, I hope you can see that on the screen, um, and in 20 they seemingly have fixed that issue but if you're working on previous versions you may need want to just hit shift E to see any changes. The actual issue that you're going to find in this image, and it's just really upsetting my anal side that is not spitting on the screen there, I thought it was going to be so that. that's making me feel better. It's weird the things that make you feel better, isn't it? Right, there we go, let's plant that one side. Uh, so um, I'm just gonna go up to edit and you'll see the transparency uh, this transparency blend space here is set mm -hmm. to CMYK. So under color settings, mm -hmm. you'll see that the same settings are dialed in here. So in the previous versions of uh, InDesign and the previous versions of Adobe, these settings sometimes didn't sit well between your Adobe program, so if you set them in one, they wouldn't hold through the program. But uh, that, that seems to have all been fixed now for 2020. But if you are having issues, you might want to go into Adobe Bridge and set those things. And some people have even found online that deleting Bridge and reinstalling it will keep those working spaces between your Adobe programs. Anyway, I digress. Let's hit OK. Because if there is any transparency in your image, sometimes under edit and this transparency blend space, working in the CMYK profile, it's just going to take those CMYK values, whether you tell InDesign to use RGB or not. So if you were outputting this for screen and you wanted this to basically be exported as a PDF or to be seen on screen, you're just going to see it in these flat blank colours, which is not what you want. But if immediately, if you switch this over for document RGB, Look at that, we're back in the realm of super bright rainbows. And in the preview mode presentation, let's go and grab that. You can see that is what a PDF would output as, and you'll get those super bright colours as you wish that you would have. Um, and if you've got a really good print, uh, ICC profile, the conversion between RGB and going out into ink, so some magenta yellow and black and whatever inks else you've got going on the printer, this should print pretty nicely, especially on uh, inkjet printers that are fairly good at that replication of um, RGB values. Um, I hope this is useful and I hope that this solves any issues that you might have in InDesign when you're trying to export things and the colours just look a little off.